try to get my fans on home and they dig them up. Before they about to sell them, think about Trey, I'm finna go dig them up. Before today's video start, I just want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, which is Guapchi. Guapchi offers anything you guys need Modern Warfare 2 related, that being camo, that being rank, and prestige levels once they are out. And all of the service is 100% trusted and affordable. If you guys are interested, just check the description of this video. Thank you guys to Guapchi, and thank you guys for watching the video. Let's get started. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, come back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I have the best solo XP glitch on Modern Warfare 2 after the most recent play playlist update now before i ever do get started and tell you guys what we're going to be doing make sure you guys do drop a like on today's video and make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys do not miss any videos in the future but with all the missing out of the way let's go ahead and get started with today's video now the first thing you guys want to do before doing this xp glitch is make sure that you go over to battle royale quads and make sure that you have squad field turned off after you guys have done that you want to go over to your war zone loadout and make sure that you have any weapon that you want weapon xp for equipped in a certain loadout so you guys can get it while you are in the game once you guys have done that you are ready to go all you want to do is load up a map now once you guys do load into your war zone game what you want to do is open up your map and mark the location that i'm marking in today's video this is the location that you guys want to land in it is the best location to land hands down now the best part about landing over here is going to be this gas station right here as you guys are seeing in the video it will have tons and tons of cash for you guys you should walk out of here with at least 10 to nine thousand dollars like you guys are going to see i'm going to leave with in today's video now once you guys have gotten that money from the gas station all you guys are going to do is locate the safe cracker contract that is in this area nine times out of ten there will always be one here and now what you guys are going to do once you get to the third and final safe of the contract is let the safe blow up and open up a nearby supply box at the same time and basically what that is going to do is triple the progression that you do get from this safe cracker contract and this still does work as of the most post patch that they did release as you guys are seeing in the video right now and now at this point you guys will have boatloads of cash that you can use so let me show you what they actually did fix with the post patch another thing if you go to the buy station and buy armor plates for some reason i'm not sure if they don't give you xp at all but the xp no longer shows up for buying that item no xp shows up for buying anything from the buy station anymore in regular warzone you guys know if you was to buy any of the armor plates before this little update playlist update that they did it would show you the xp but it no longer shows you that it just says special item has been purchased but do not worry at this point what you guys want to do is open up your map and find the intel contract that is on the map and now at this point once you guys have started the intel contract all you guys want to do is secure it find the laptop and then upload it to the tower and it is very very important once you do get to the third and final step of securing the intel that you do have the weapon out that you want the weapon xp for and basically mixing the save cracker contracts with the intel contracts is going to give you guys the best and most xp as of right now as of all the new patches that they did make to this game so uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to it nothing is hard at all it's very easy and simple you don't have to kill no dmz bots or nothing like that only thing you have to worry about is the other people in the game but you can just stay to yourself and find contracts that are like out of the way so you do not go through too much trouble but uh yeah that's going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it don't forget to drop a like on today's video it is me your boy charles uk i appreciate all the love and support I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.